All right, well, before we begin today's video, I have to reobtain my fire cape. This is my fourth time killing Jad. I just can't seem to hang on to this thing. It feels like every episode of my Iron Man series, I lose it. But now that we got that back, let's go ahead and begin today's journey. What we're going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to be starting at 81 Bandos kill count, and I'm going to be soloing Bandos for 24 hours or less. The starting gear for this video is as seen on screen. The tentacle and the Blood Fury is for the Bandos kill. The Staff plus Mage Arena 2 cape is for blood barraging the minions. And since I have already unlocked the Bandos hilt, I will be using the Bandos Godsword for special attack each kill. The goal for today's video is to obtain Bandos boots, Bandos tassets, and Bandos chestplate, all in hopefully under 24 hours. I'm hoping that my first drop will be tassets, but what do you guys think my first drop will be? Leave it in the comments section below. Now, in order to save charges on my Tentacle Whip, as well as my Blood Fury, I always bring an Amulet of Glory as well as a normal whip for obtaining my 40 kill count by killing these goblins that you see here. Other than killing these goblins by simply using my normal whip or occasionally blood barraging them, I also kill some hobgoblins or ogres depending on how the goblin spawns are. It takes no time at all if you're using full energy and uh, all of the monsters to your advantage. It should take less than 5 minutes to get kill count. 7 years ago, I soloed Bandos for 30 hours straight and and the only drop I obtained was the pet. Now, I'm really happy to have that pet, but in this video, we don't want that pet. We want all of the armor pieces. And honestly, not much has changed in seven years in regards to how I solo bandos. I pretty much use the most old-fashioned method there is, where I just simply hit twice for every one hit that he does to me. And other than walking underneath him a lot, I just try to tank the minions to the best of my ability. No prayer flicking or anything crazy like that. I just keep it old school, and this is how I do bandos. Uh, I am definitely definitely aware there are better methods out there, but what can I say, sometimes I'm just stuck in the past on certain things. As you can see, Blood Barrage is crucial since I do not have Bones to Peaches unlocked yet, so it really does help me obtain all of my HP back after every single kill. As long as Bandos doesn't hit me too hard with his range attack, I can usually do a comfortable 4 to 5 kill trip. If I'm really lucky with DPS and food drops, I can even extend that to 6 to 7 kill trips. However, this method does have a huge downside, and that is, uh, uh, unfortunately, the times where he hits very often, you can only do two kill trips. So, of course, I am not recommending this method to my other fellow Ironmen out there. I just prefer it over the range and mage method. So, do whatever you're comfortable with. As long as you enjoy it and it's not burning you out, I think it's a safe bet. So, with that being said, let's carry on with today's video. As you can see, these normal drops from Bandos aren't really that bad, especially if you're going to be camping here for 24 hours. We're getting a lot of adamant ore, coal, and from the minions, we're getting consistent nature runes and cosmic rune drops as well as a ton of steel arrows so we'll be picking all these normal drops up and saving it for the price check at the very end. My first trip went very well. Uh, six kills actually with that Bandos Godsword coming in clutch with the special attack lowering Bandos defense so that I can constantly hit him with my tentacle whip and that six kill trip actually managed to be turned into a seven kill trip. I was really proud of this because it does not happen that often. Um, more times than not you're getting less than five kills uh, most of the the time so the seven kill trip was very special it took about 18 minutes to pull that off um, not including the time that it took to do kill count managed to get 146k from that trip which is really nice i'm going to be high alking all of these rune items and of course for smithing i'll be using all of the adamant ore and coal in the future same goes for farming with all the snapdragon seeds and of course herblore with the snapdragon herbs i did have a death relatively early on but yeah, we're not a hardcore Iron Man, so that's okay. And with our first death also comes the end of our first hour. 16 kills in this hour. Not too bad at all. I hope I can average that throughout the whole video. There's the first hard clue. We should be getting a few of those from the minions throughout this grind. And after receiving the clue scroll, I did also manage to hit 100 kill count completing an elite combat task, the veteran of Bandos, I'll take it. And if you're curious as to where all of my other Bandos kills came from, they came from none other than my Barrows to Best in Slot series, which I started a few months ago and you guys absolutely love it. And I am in the process of working on the next episode, but I wanted to take a quick break from that and just camp Bandos for a solid 24 hours or less. What can I say? You know, I had a really good feeling about this boss and it's no doubt one of my favorite bosses, especially on 
my Iron Man account to grind. So I just wanted to do an individual video and of course I'll take the highlights from this one and I'll put it in the next episode from Barrows to Best in Slot. If you guys have enjoyed this video and are enjoying this, feel free to check out that series. The link to it will be in the description below. You're not going to want to miss it. It's probably the series that I put the most hours in these days. So yeah, thanks for all the great feedback on that as well. And that leads us to our second hard clue. No drops yet, but I will be saving all the clue caskets for the end. So maybe I'll hit third age. But what I really want to hit is what you see on screen there. The chest plate, the task sets, and the boots. We already got the hilt, which is rarer than all of those other items. And thank goodness that we got that first, because that actually makes these bandos kills much faster and much more bearable. Even though I, you know, still continue to die, that's okay. The Bando's God Sword special attack not only lowers the defense, but it speeds up the kill every time. So I couldn't have asked for a better first Bando's item to receive. And there's our first long bone of the video. One in 400 for that. It's not too bad. I'm actually collecting them for a long-term construction grind. But uh, yeah, I really didn't think I'd get one from Bando's. Needless to say, though, the grind continues. The last time that I was actually at Bando's, you guys might actually remember, it was two years ago as seen on... On screen here. It was a great 10 hour experience. Got a lot of luck in that video. Multiple drops and I gotta be honest with you, I really hope the same happens for this one. But with that rune sword following the long bone, it seems like I am getting rare drops, just all the wrong ones. But we're still early into the grind. My hope is still high. I think in that 10 hour video I did on my main account, I was getting 20 kills a trip. And that was with just the seer and Elijah and a fang before they nerfed the fang. And nowadays I see Max Mains here bring the Tumakin as well as an alt, and I think they can stay here for like 100 kill trips. So by any means, I am not a expert at Bandos, but I really do enjoy the melee method across all of my accounts, and with that being said, I feel like I actually earned the kill, you know? I'm tanking so many different hits, and I'm absorbing so much damage. Deaths are unfortunately a common occurrence here, but it just makes it all the more worth it, because the, the second I see that drop appear, it's all gonna be worth it at that point, and it's such a great feeling of adrenaline, such a rush that you get, that it's worth it. All the pain and suffering, especially the fact that I was very low on death runes in this video, so I had to spend quite a bit of GP at the uh, Mage Arena buying those back for Blood Barrage. We have 167k from that inventory. Always got to pick up everything, even the chili potatoes. Five hours in, ladies and gentlemen, 81 kills, no rare yet, other than the Longbone and the unfortunate rune sword. But hey, the loot tab is looking nice. Uh, obviously, I already had all these items that I'm receiving from this video, so we're just stacking them all up in one tab, but Rune Light is taking care of the hard work, tracking everything individually. I will admit, I am a little bit lazy for not doing Bones to Peaches before this video, and that's probably why they're giving me all these long bones, just to remind me to get to that Bones to Peaches grind. I get the point, but it's painful. Another 1 and 400 drop to receive that long bone, but hey, at least it's not a curved bone, because that would be a little... Well, probably a little bit more painful. But either way, I did die again. I know, I, I was really confident I'd live there, but that's what happens when you don't pray flick the minions. Six hours in, 96 kills overall, and all we have to show for it so far is two long bones and one rune sword. Of course, we have all the other normal drops, but they're just that normal. What we want to see is a rare, particularly the Bandos task sets. That would be really nice for getting extra range defense bonus and strength bonus compared to my Varrock skirt. But with this kill being the 100th kill into the video and a nice price check of 188k, we'll go ahead and just take a quick glance at the Rune Light loot tracker. It looks like uh, 2.26 mil made and 100 Bandos kills, and the minions are looking strong too. For some reason, it doesn't track the range minion every time I kill it. It's always like 10 behind the other minions, and I always kill them balanced uh, every inventory, so it's very strange to see. But with that being said, we banked our third hard clue casket, and after that, we double deathed bandos. I'm glad we got the kill, but I'm sad I didn't get to pick up the loot. Luckily, it wasn't a rare item, or that would be really upsetting. Just missed out on 70 nature runes, so it's not the end of the world. But following this, we are now seven hours into the grind today. 115 kills with 17 hours remaining. I will go the full 24 hours, of course, if we're unable to get any drop, but the main goal is to receive all of the drops. And if we can do it in under 24 hours, then I'll save myself some time. 
so it'll be a win-win. Either way, though, a beautiful 200 overall kill count at Bandos. Still only one drop, that being the hilt to my name, but now we have to use another drop that I received recently, and that is a Blood Shard to create my second Amulet of Blood Fury. After creating that Blood Fury, I did receive a God Sword Shard one from a minion, so it's nice to see a shard. I actually kind of forgot about them existing, so yeah, really nice. We're on the right track now. Got something. If I do happen to use my Blood Fury up a second time around, I do have one more in the bank, so hopefully we can get some drops before that Blood Fury runs out this time. Well, another death, another day. Eight hours in, 126 kills into the video. No drop yet, but I, I feel one coming pretty soon. I mean, we're pretty dry at this point. Even though we were spooned the hilt, I don't like that word, but spooned it is. Uh, we haven't been spooned for anything else, so I want some more things. I want all the things, and I'm not gonna stop until I get them. And yeah, another death, you know, what can I say? No one ever says Bandos is easy. Well, I mean, they do, but they don't, they don't do this method. And rightfully so. It's not the smartest method out there, but it does lead to, well, no drop yet still. Adamant ore, 220 KC in. We're still on the grind here, ladies and gentlemen. You can never lose hope, even in the driest of moments, because something crazy just might happen. And crazy it was. 100 silver ore. It's about 1 in 1,000 to receive that, which brings us into our ninth hour with 141 kills being accomplished. We stand our ground, we continue on, and we don't look back. Another Bandos kill coming up to see yet again another unfortunate drop, an uncut emerald, also known as Adam Sandler, but uh, nevertheless, I'll take it. Unfortunately, I did die in that inventory, though. It's funny, editing all these clips, I don't remember dying this much, but I guess it's all just a big blur. After I obtained all my items back, though, I did complete yet again another hard clue, so we'll go ahead and put that casket in the bank for later. You know, if we don't get a single drop this whole video, at least we have the clue scroll caskets to look forward to. That's why you always gotta save the caskets for later. But, another kill coming in, and this time, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little bit different. We did get a collection log drop down. It is one of the three items we need, but of course it's the most uneventful one of them all. This being the Bandos boots. Just shy of being 10 hours into this grind, we were granted our first item, hopefully not our last. One nice thing about the Bandos boots is that if I decide that I want to try them out here, they are actually beneficial. Uh, compared to the Primordial boots, you won't be hitting as often or as high because you're going to lose the strength bonus, but you're going to be granted a good range defense bonus, so I should be able to absorb much more damage by using them if I decide to use them while soloing. And being 10 hours in with 157 kills. We'll go ahead and price check that inventory because we did get some nice drops other than the boots for a total of 307k. And as I just mentioned, looking at the melee strength bonus of plus 5 with the primordials compared to the plus 0 with the bandos boots, uh, as well as the defense bonus on stab, slash, and crush being better with the primordials. It looks like these bandos boots are really only good for absorbing that range attack and taking less damage from it. So I did try them out uh, for a few trips, actually. I was kind of alternating between Bandos boots and Primordial boots, and I was also comparing the Dragon Defender with the Dragon Fire Shield, and after a lot of practice, I would say the Dragon Fire Shield with the Primordial boots is probably my best setup here, because not only do I tank much more hits with the DFS, but the Primordial boots give me that extra strength bonus so that I'm still hitting somewhat accurately, so it's always good to try new setups. Well, here we are, 250 kills overall, and 11 hours in to the grind today. 100 170 kills just in this video alone. And a quick peek at the collection log. We are still missing the chest plate and the tassets. So hopefully we get something soon. I don't want to see a duplicate boot drop. That would be really painful. You know, I always record the boss kill, but I never think to record the minion kills. Sergeant Grimspike coming in with the Bandos tassets. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't get it from Bandos himself. We got it from one of his minions. One and 16,256 for that drop. That is absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and check the Rune Light Loot Tracker. Took 159 Grim Spike kills in order to receive those tassets and also got the uh, God Sword Shard from him as well. I am still surprised that uh, that this happened. Yeah, tassets. I mean, this is a huge upgrade and if you guys enjoy this moment right here, this is what From Barrows to Best in Slot series is all about. This is all that this series is. So 
nice to take a little bit of a break from it and just focus on bandos for these 24 hours but wow i mean this is huge i mean look at the difference there we get a huge plus range bonus um of about nine there compared to the Verox skirt i mean this account has come such a far way barrows to best in slot and camping bandos i really do hope you guys all are enjoying the journey so far and just remember the best is yet to come we are still going 12 hours and 44 minutes left let's keep pushing until we get this full set of bandos and i do want to say for those of you out there who always say mr no sleep i wish you did live commentary i want to hear that live reaction well unfortunately i, I vividly remember that task set drop and i was actually watching an episode of true detective season one and i'll be honest guys i didn't flinch i didn't jump up my heart didn't uh accelerate at all i you know i'm often referred to as a sloth so hopefully that clears it up I, i'm just not that i'm not that exciting to uh to to react to things so trust me you're not missing out on much is all i'm trying to say one thing you'll always get is in-game narration though i will say that 12 hours in so far uh we are doing a wilderness step here with no food so very thankful there was no pkers outside of calvarion's cave here or i would have lost a lot but recovering from that we did get another hard clue casket so we threw that in the bank and following that i did get another rare but this time a dragon stone this just like the 100 silver ore is one in 1000 so i'll take it you know it's actually a useful gem compared to the other ones so yeah it is a cut gem not an uncut gem so my adam sandler joke wouldn't have worked there but either way 34 million defense xp we are now 200 kills into this video all soloed by my iron man himself and the big man bandos has only given me a pair of his boots i had to trust his minion to give me the task set so hopefully we don't have to rely on the minion for the chest plate because uh that'll be something well no collection log this time ladies and gentlemen so it means it's a duplicate and it's not a duplicate task sets like I wish it was. It was Bando's boots yet again. A uh, second pair of boots, 212 kills into the video. I really can't say much more than that. I'm not upset. I mean, I got task sets from a minion. How can you be upset about that? But the big man himself, Bando's, is just not as generous as I remember him. So we just got to keep on grinding, keep on pushing out these kills, and we will see something that we want to see, but hopefully not a third pair of boots because I'm losing it. And there's a beautiful overall kill count of 300. I received received 69 nature runes from that so i will take it some more high alking that i can do in the future and as you can see i'm just using dfs at this point here with my new and improved plate skirt this being the task sets compared to the verox skirt we have nine hours left in this journey uh until we reach the 24 hour mark i'm hoping that i don't have to go all the way to 24 hours to uh get all these items but i was planning on it anyway so if it happens it happens at the end of the day though i just want to see that chest plate to complete this set and to complete this grind who turned that music on ladies and gentlemen the bandos chest plate has been achieved with nine hours left to go ladies and gentlemen we have obtained the full bandos set we got it all every single bit of it this is truly a moment to remember this is insane look at me and this full set of bandos including the god sword from barrows to best in slot this is not best in slot but it's one step closer well i am gonna clap for that and i'm gonna snap for my man bully mcguire we got it 29.9 mil it's nice to see that chest plate in that collection log seven out of eight i already had so much incredible luck with that pet on my main account that i'll probably never hunt for it on the iron man 15 hours to obtain all these bandos items and honestly i had no problem doing 24 hours but i just happened to get lucky so now let's go ahead ladies and gentlemen and price check our 232 kills 1.6 million in g as well as 13 rune plate bodies, 15 snap seeds, 15 rune two-handers, a total of 5.4 mil just in the normal drops, as well as two long bones. And from our rare drops are two Bandos boots, Bandos chest plate, as well as our minion tasset drop 
50.3 mil from that. 55.7 mil made in 15 hours from soloing bandos. Not that GP matters on an Iron Man, but still needs to be said. Now let's go ahead and open up these five hard clue caskets. Uh, we did get some nice ancient Van braces following that a Guthix stole, which I actually really needed for future clue steps. So that'll be nice. A uh, total of about 450k from the clues. What a great grind that was. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video if you guys enjoyed what you saw check out my iron man series from barrows to best in slot because there are much more upgrades to come in that series i focus on every boss not just one so if you enjoyed what you saw here today make sure to check the link in the description and you can see that series in full right now just confirming all of the drops with the rune light loot tracker here as you guys can see on the right side of the screen and that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for everything. It's really good to be here, and it's good to be grinding. A huge thank you to the YouTube channel members for your monthly support. Special shout-out goes to Angel's Blood, Deception Z, XXXotic X, and Necro Fear. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. No Sleep, out. Who turned that music on?